to us, Gitanjan Gurumodana is the young cousin who romped with us in the Walawa, in the estates, and we all loved carrying him around, so I've known him really from childhood. He is the youngest son of Philip and Kusuma Gurumodana. I think he imbibed the best of the political vision of his parents, especially his father, the visionary, the illustrious Lana Borubada, and his mother, who was more pragmatic and who was very people friendly, and who had, I think, he imbibed the best characteristics of both his parents. We are lucky to have him within our family, within our extended family. And it is with great joy that I chose this moment to pay a tribute to him. He is our brother, our cousin, and in a way, a kind of idol for us. He was a father who brought up a son, almost uh, flawless, to a fine young man. And I think he is the strong, the physical support, the strong arm of his brother, Mr. Dinesh Gurupathar. In the party, I think he is the more practical person, and he is the person who had people-friendly contact and who would come to the needs of anybody in his electorate. And also in the family too, I recall the days when my nieces were students in London, he was most concerned about their welfare. He was concerned about all our family problems or anything. I think we used to go to our younger brother, our Mani, whom we cherished and loved very much. In his case, I think even in politics, he scored. He got some ministries which he could actually showcase his talent, especially for me, I have served as an ambassador once, and I saw him function in the Ministry of Finance and also especially in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I think he had marvelous diplomatic skills and I think he was a super uh, raconteur. He had marvelous relations with all foreign dignitaries of this region. And I have seen him function, had had functions, socializing, perfectly at ease with people, perfectly at ease whether it be local or foreign. Though we, in a way, come from a, a region like Sitavaka, where our memories go down to an anti-imperialist Portuguese uh, invasions being fought against by our fellow brothers of Abhisavanda and the Sitavaka Urume as we call. So we all have inherited that Urume. We have it in our blood and we have it that we have, we look for our roots, we are proud of our, our heritage, we are proud of ourselves, we are proud of being Sinhalese and Sri Lankan. We are not a race, we are not racist. We are people who are very hu humane in the attitude of everybody. And I think he shares those uh, sentiments with us. Even in my films, I have found that I have always worked and tried to show the underprivileged the uh, oppressed, and I think those feelings and those attitudes came from the legendary family that I belong to and he belongs to. He more than I, because it is his father who brought this marvelous sense of socialist, uh, socialism to this country. He is a person we revered, and I think he is somebody I think the whole nation looks up to and I think his son deserves the same praise 
and we have to see him in that assembly because he has worked tirelessly for the people of our region, our district, and, our, and our, us, not only as family, the extended family, and all the people of uh, this district, especially in the Sita Avisavela district. He has been the uh, torch bearer for, for, for us, and we are proud of him, and I'm proud, really very proud, that I have got this opportunity even to pay a small tribute to him. God bless him. Thank you, Madam.